Yogi Clan, welcome back to Yogi Cycle Service and welcome back to Yogi Cycle Shop. You are in the shop now. We are getting ready to do, now that we have the primary cover off, we took that off in the last video, but we're going to go ahead and change all the fluids. We're going to change the transmission fluid, we're going to change the primary fluid, and we're going to change the oil. We're going to show you how to do that on an Ultra Classic. Stay tuned, we're going to switch some camera angles and we're going to dig on in. See you in a minute. All right, first thing you need to do when changing the primary fluid, obviously, is drain the primary fluid. On the Ultra Classic and the Soft Tails, drain plug is actually right here. On a Soft Tail, it's a small little internal plug. This one has actually a head that you can put a socket on, or you can use a quarter inch Allen and put that up inside there. But if for some reason that Allen is stripped out, you can just go ahead and use a socket on the end of that for touring models. Go ahead and put our pan underneath as we pull our plug. And one thing that's very important to check on your drain plug is for any kind of parts of metal inside there. And if you look here at this piece, that right there I would say is a large piece of metal shaving. But off of here, that piece of metal came out of there. That to me kind of makes me wonder. But if you look at this plug itself, well, it's got some metal shavings in it, but it's really, with the exception of that one huge chunk of metal, it isn't really too bad. Normal for the amount of miles this has on it. Also, you're going to want to inspect your O-ring, your rubber O-ring down at the bottom for any kind of rips and tears. Some people say change it every oil change. I don't think that's necessarily fully necessary. I just look to make sure it's still in good shape and it's not torn or ripped or has cuts in it because you do want a, a good seal on there. And this one looks like it's still in fairly good shape. One thing that we are going to use for this oil change, instead of uh, Teflon tape, we're using pipe and thread sealant. It's a Teflon product that we can use on there to put around here to get a good seal. All right, while that completes draining, Harley sells this plastic little funnel, this orange plastic funnel. It fits really nicely down into here, so you, when you pour in your fluid and fill your fluid back up, it uh, it because obviously you can't pour, there's no drain spout to pour this in. The funnel works really well, but it's also about $15 to $20. So instead, I cut up one of these, because my family drinks a lot of milk. And this is free, and it works. All you gotta do is take it, put it in your primary, just like that. Bam, now you can fill your primary. All right, now that that's drained, let's get our plug ready. Now I always put one quart in the primary and one quart of fluid in the tranny. Go ahead and spread some Teflon on here. Put a little bit and smear it around. Put our bolt back up inside. So this, you do need to pour in here pretty slowly, otherwise it's gonna overflow. All right, Yogi Clan, that is now done and back on. And we have some new bolts that we're gonna use. We, are, we got button head socket cap screws. One quarter by 20 inch, or one quarter by 20 thread, half inch. So we're gonna put these on in lieu of the T25 bolts that were on there previous. Always be sure to inspect your cover and ins inspect your gasket. This one still looks in good shape, so we're going to reuse it instead of replacing it. Put 
primary side's done, let's move over to the transmission and the oil next. All right, Yogi Clam, for both the transmission and the oil, you have two plugs underneath. You have one right here, which will be your transmission, and you have one over here, oil. Let's head and use the same quarter inch Allen on there. Look and inspect the bolt, and it looks pretty clear. While that is draining, let's go ahead and pull our transmission plug. And put Teflon on our bolt. You want to be careful not to put too much on there because you don't want that getting up into your engine. Go ahead and put it back on the quarter inch Allen. Get that put back up in our engine. The funnel for this. And we'll go ahead, just like the primary, we'll put one quart in the transmission. I believe the specs call for actually maybe 36 or 38 ounces, and there are 32 in here, but one quart in each hole should, should do it. But always check your dipstick with a heated engine. So maybe after this is done, we'll go for a ride for about 20 minutes, half hour, come back and check the dipstick. The primary, it's kind of easy to tell because you can look in the primary cover and if that fluid's coming up close to the lip of the primary in an upright position, then you know you're full. And before I put that primary cover on, I did do a visual and I could see that it looked pretty close to the lip of the edge of your primary, so that's good to go. All right. Let's go ahead and loosen up our oil drain plug. Drain plug is pulled. Let's go ahead and check the magnet on it. And if we look at the magnet on this one, that looks pretty good. There's like hardly anything on it. Wait for that to finish draining, then we'll put the plug back in. And then from here, we'll go to the front, pull the oil filter, and then fill up our fluids. As that's draining, we're gonna go ahead and just loosen this up and get this prepared. But before we do that, one thing you gotta do on these bikes is prepare for a mess. Harley just great design, love the bike, but this was the most stupidest design ever. So we need to get this up underneath this filter because if we don't you're going to wind up having a ton of junk we're just going to use two you're going to wind up having a ton of junk a ton of oil come out once that filter breaks free it's going to coat the front of your bike so a lot of times i'll use it just like what we use the plastic milk milk carton this time we're going to try something a little different. We're going to go ahead and put some towels underneath there to try to catch a lot of that oil coming out. This one is a K&N filter that I get off of Amazon. I'll put that link below. It has the nut on it, which makes it really nice for this right here. That's the hard part right there. That's the hardest part of changing this filter is get that filter started turning. So now that that's turning and we know that's loose, we'll go ahead and put our plug, drain plug back in because all that oil has now drained out. So let's get our plug back in and then we'll take the filter off. Right, drain plug is in. Let's go ahead and get this filter off. With our cloths underneath, start spinning, spinning that and once this starts going you're gonna want to grab it and get it vertical pretty darn quick because that filter is full of oil and it is going to be making a mess keep those cloths underneath
before we put this new filter on, let's clean this up in here. Make sure the old O-ring came off with the filter. And we don't have an oily mess all over our bike. Looking pretty good. I think those rags caught the worst of it. All right, a couple things. On this new filter, you can see k and Performance with the wrench nut on it. Two things we're gonna do to this. Number one, we're gonna take that O-ring off of it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-fill this filter about halfway. About halfway, that way it doesn't spill out. I also wanna put some oil around on both sides of this O-ring here. It creates a good seal and you don't have a dry O-ring. All right, so we have that filter about half full of fluid. We put a good coat on both sides of this O-ring. Let's clean up our housing in here. Go ahead and put this filter on and in place. Let's just hand tighten this just to make sure we're good. And there you go. Filter's on, ready to be filled with oil. So let's go back around to the other side and we'll fill her on up. Whee! Oh yeah, I forgot the other quartz oil. <laughs> whoops. That's what I'm here for. Whoops, whoops. All right, with the funnel in, remember, we got about, well, I we still have 30 ounces in here. We did put two ounces or so in the other, in the filter. We'll go ahead and add the rest into the case. With all four quarts in, you can go ahead and pull your funnel. There you go, Yogi Clan. That's how you change your oil, your primary, and your tranny fluids. Thank you for joining us at Yogi Cycle Service. Remember to mash that subscribe, mash the notifications, and mash the like button. I appreciate you joining us today. Have a wonderful weekend. Peace.